Hello, this is Robin, and I wanted to come back to give you an up-close look at the top of my soap with the Himalayan sea salt. And um, as you can see, you, there are small and also fine pieces of the salt on top, along with the small piping um, design that I did as well. And it turned out really, really nice. It actually has a crystal kind of appearance looks like little fine crystals were added on top. And the sea salt from the research I have done is actually very rejuvenating for your skin and has some really good qualities for your skin. So I'm anxious to use this. And I also wanted to show you when I purchased the sea salt what it came in. Um, this is a, just a regular store-bought um, sea salt. And you can see here, it says the Himalayan sea salt here. It comes in its own grinder. And it has a, a translucent kind of pink coloring to it. It's very coarse, and with its own grinder, of course, you can decide how coarse or fine you want to make the salt, and I decided to make it fine um, and also with a medium to a medium coarse. I also saw a recipe online for the Himalayan sea salt where you can use and just put the salt in your batch itself prior to pouring it into the mold. I decided not to do that. Um, I just wanted to put it on top but you can actually have it be more coarse or more fine depending on the look you're trying to get with the soap. So I hope you enjoyed watching and um, I will be looking forward to using the soap. Have a great day.